Well, I'm glad to hear that, ladies and gentlemen. Ken Maurer, Maurer Sports and Nutrition, with Michelle Tafoya on the KQ Morning Show. Hi, Ken. This is the first time we're meeting. Hello, Michelle. Well, I, I we, we've you know, other than on the floor and watching you do your job, I I think we're on a plane once or twice. It, oh, but, uh, and just and, and just visited briefly. But that's that, true. Uh, I'd. Uh, I think I'll enjoy this a little bit more. How's that? That I think you will, and people will enjoy. Okay, so how do you? You know what? There are so many protein bars out there. So you're going into business, and you say to yourself, "Gee, I'm going to make a protein bar too." How do you decide how you're going to be different? Well, it's it's, it's a great question, and uh, I knew that I'd fight that even going in. But Michelle, I, you know, you know me well. I've been an athlete my whole life. I'm. Uh, you know, I was born and raised in Minnesota. I've been an athlete my whole life, and then I started refereeing. I'm in, you know, you know what I do for a living, and I've just been subject to all these bars and all these so-called snacks that are supposed to be healthy, and uh, um, and I, I've just been subject to them my my whole life, especially in locker rooms the last 30 years. And I I started re. I've always been in, in nutrition. I majored at the University of Minnesota in fly and health. I've always been interested in nutrition my whole life. I'm almost strictly organic now with my wife. We try to eat as healthy as we can. I started reading. I started researching material and starting to find out just what was I putting in my system? What what was I eating? And uh, I came to realize, that I, and I just got sick and tired of a lot of the people that were marketing things or saying that things were healthy, that after I'd read it and after I'd educate myself about just what was in it, I realized it just shouldn't be something, not only did I not want it, but it shouldn't be something that I wanted, that I should be putting in my body. So I started with a partner, and it's been two, three years. I've met with manufacturers. I've met with formulators. I've met with people in the business. I've met with scientists. I've met with people that, that helped me. I, I was bound to be determined to shell to create something that was, first of all, it better taste good. If it doesn't taste good, nobody's going to eat it. You right, know that. Right, right, right. Um, but it, it, it can't, if it doesn't, and there's, now and nowadays, more and more people are becoming conscious of, of what I understand you're so passionate about, and I and I applaud you. What are we putting in our body? What are we eating? Yeah. And um, it started out with organic things were not healthy. You know, anything that tastes organic tasted like chalk. That was the rumor. Well, it, it isn't like that. And uh, I formulated something, Michelle, that are that is healthy for you. It doesn't have any refined sugar. It doesn't have any preservatives. It doesn't have any artificial flavors. It's three of the six bars are chocolate coated. They they there's non GMO. They're gluten free. If uh, a lot of people, I had I didn't even know what gluten free meant. I didn't even know what GMO meant. Yeah. And um, but if people do, and a lot of people are, they're starting. Hey, I was just as stupid as a lot of the people out there well, today. I did I didn't know. And the good and news I, is, you don't even have to know if you just get these protein bars. You, you don't even have to know what all that is, except you should know that these are clean. That's that's what we say. And they add they're clean because of all those reasons you said. Just But the bottom line is they taste really good and they're good for you. Here, they are. So these flavors, check this out. Dark Chocolate Caramel Macadamia Classic. Dark Chocolate Coconut Crunch. Dark <laughs> Chocolate Strawberry Classic. That I love that. And I love the white chocolate uh, strawberry. That is Caramel Macadamia Coconut cashew. I mean, those are great, great, great selections. Well, coconut's very healthy for you. Macadamia is very high in good fat. People get all bent out of shape about calories and fat. Well, if it's good calories and it's good fat, it's good for you. They're come, coming out with scientific studies now that good fat diets are much more healthy for you, help you lose weight, as opposed to carb diets. Yeah, so, and I as mean, a if, if people again, if if people start to read and 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 know what they're putting in their body, and then you're right, Michelle, taste one, just taste it, and yep. see what you think. If you don't like it, then don't order another one. I think on our website, MauerSportsNutrition.com, as you mentioned earlier, I think 92 or 94 percent of the people that order a bar order another one. So there you go. Um, I, there's got to be something to say. I'm I'm proud of it, and um, there'll be other products coming too. But uh, we started with the six bars, and they're and they're starting to become very successful. And uh, I'm excited to talk about it. So you can go to Mauer Sports Nutrition. That's M A U E R Sports Nutrition dot com and order them. And then I think you said there's a mechanism at checkout. If they type in Michelle, they get free shipping. That's correct. That's there, correct. Yep. there, there we go. And see, and see. So Ken's done all the research for you. You don't have to go read about GMOs. Just know that these are really healthy and really good for you, and they taste really, really good. But, but I, but again, Michelle, I, I hope people 
become more involved with, with just, again, what does sucralose mean? What does fructose corn syrup mean? What is, you know, what do all these things, what, is, what does refined sugar mean? I hope they educate themselves because they'll find out that a lot of the things we're putting in our bodies aren't really that healthy for us, even though people that market and people that sell them say they are. And I think it, it, it almost becomes fun. It, it almost becomes, it's a way of life. It's, it's, it's healthy. It feels good. It's fun. It's something I share with my, life, with my wife, and, I, and it's something that a nine-year-old kid I'm proud of can eat. A mother can give it to a nine-year-old child on his way out the door. A mother, uh, a, a, an older person that needs protein, they all have 20 grams of protein in them, too. It's the healthiest 20-gram protein bar in the country right now. Period. And I, the and end. I, you should be and, proud, Ken. Well, thanks, Michelle. I, 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 I'm having fun with it. You know, I, I, I do love my job. I do enjoy what I do very much for a living. But this has been a, another form of excitement for me in that I've, I've, you know, I'd rather sell 50 of these, Michelle, than 500 bars that, let's just say, are not so healthy for you. And I, I, I mean that. And, you know, it costs more money to make them. If there's less profit margin, that's okay. Because if, when I sell one of these, I'm, I'm kind of proud of it, and people enjoy them, and the feedback I get on them. And, uh, because, again, if they don't taste good, I don't care. There could be gold in them. I don't care. If they don't taste good, nobody's going to eat them. Tom, <laughs> I know that. Tom, this very much reminds me of, of Alex, your daughter. She with the clean eating and living. Let me put it this way. If Ken and Alex were together, they'd drive me nuts. Yes, they would. <laughs> well, Honest Tom, to God, Ken. It might do you some good to be driven nuts a little bit. It might do you a little oh, bit. Oh, here <laughs> we go. Yeah, Will it help it my bilateral leg maybe, weakness? Maybe, maybe Michelle and I can help drive you nuts because I think it's well, you might you might just thank us and your daughter as well. Uh, proud of her. All right. Well, I, hey, sounds good to me. Absolutely. <laughs> how, sounds, old your, how old is your daughter, Tom? 20, 27. Thanks for listening. No, good, good, for <laughs> good for her because because she's way ahead. I think it took me till I was forty-seven before I actually understood anything about health. So she's you're not ahead of the forty-seven, game and, I, and I and I applaud her. That's good. Wait a minute, you're forty. I had no idea you were forty-seven. No, Tom, I'm sixty. I just turned. I just turned. 60 you're sixty. Years old I'll be six. I'll be sixty-one. I just saw a picture of you, and you look like you're about thirty. See, I knew I'd like you, Tom. That's I like, what I happens. Like to listen to you, and I knew I'd like you a lot more than more. Honest to God. I like that. You're like 61 that. years old. You're going to be 61. That's amazing. Well, thank you. I've uh, I've been lucky. I've been, you know, I like I said, I've tried to tried to stay clean. Tried to, you know, not never really been much of a smoker and drinker. In fact, never never had a drink or a cigarette. Don't don't do that kind of stuff. And never stayed away from the things that were bad when you were young and when we were young and stupid. And now I, uh, I again, I, I'm trying to. Trying to eat well and trying to stay working out. I, I, I love my job; that keeps me young. And so, um, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Not a problem. So uh, now we have to put up with you and Michelle. This is just going to be great. <laughs> well, Ken. This, this is going to be fun for me. Well, Michelle, I, I heard. In fact, I, I, I've always well, I, I follow you. I follow you all the time. I see you all the time. But I, I, I had heard. That's why I actually wanted to talk to you probably more than you wanted to talk to me because I, I had no idea how health oriented you were and I and it's kind of fun to have guys like Tom and other people in the world laugh and joke with us but you know what uh, when they start figuring it out they're going to uh, maybe think differently about nuts like you and I there's a well, reason you just, you just called me an imbecile on my own show <laughs> No, I didn't say that. Yeah, I you, can. You, you, yeah. you interpreted that. You interpreted oh, that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you okay. That. That was a nice way of doing it, but no, I was I was yeah. trying to give Michelle another compliment. That's uh, all. Thank you very much. But see, that's if you look at pictures of Ken Maurer, and a lot of people know who he is, that you'll you'll realize that you'll want to eat these bars because then maybe you'll grow up to look like him. Well, wow, that's that's nice of you. I, I people have no idea what what the sugar and no idea what all the the stuff we put in our bodies. No idea what it what it what it causes. And uh, I guess in order to try to do what I do for for a long period of time, it's very tough on knees, very tough on backs, very tough on the travel and all that. I I am, and and now you know I've married a, a beautiful woman about nine years ago who's more organic and and more. She's more nuts than I am in, in, in a loving sense. And she <laughs> in a loving me, way. And, and I mean that in a loving way. In a, in a very loving way. Uh, she, yeah. she taught me more about nutrition than I think that I, that I have from even reading. But the doctors, the studies, the Dr. Abrams, the Dr. Marcola's of the world, the people that really, really say it like it is, it, it, it's, it's actually fun. And we, uh, 
We enjoy a lifestyle that you know, I always tell people, and this is kind of funny. Do you do you spend a lot for your car? Do you spend a lot for your your golf clubs? Or do you spend a lot to travel? Or uh, one doctor gave me an example the other day in, 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 in a conference call we had with our staff. You know, would you feed a multi million dollar racehorse? Crap. I mean, I mean, would you? And the, the question is, no, you wouldn't. Mm-hmm. So why do people uh, continually put things down their, their system that they know aren't healthy? And I couldn't answer the question. Maybe one of you two can answer because I can't. No, I, you know, now I realize why your cousin Joe doesn't talk much. You can't get a word in edgewise, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Honest to God. <laughs> All well, right, no, Ken. Well, you, you're... Are you There's coming back on the show? He doesn't talk much, but I won't get into that. There's other reasons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ken, thanks for your time this morning, man. Oh, Tom, I really appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for having me on. You too, Michelle. Bye, Ken. Bye. See you soon.